This is the future. is the future. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group get behind the scenes info. Before we get to the video, here is a short disclaimer for you guys. Please take note, all repairs and reviews are done by myself for myself and on my own products and property. I fix problems as I find them and I do a first impression review on products that I buy. So if you have a question for me on a product or you have a complaint about a product, I apologize if I cannot give you a proper answer. Remember, if a product is faulty, please take it back to where you bought it. And if there's any other problem that I have never encountered before, I will try and find the answer for you. Anyway, let's get to the video. Well, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this video was requested by this person about a month ago, as you guys can see. He wanted me to review the Amplify Note X. Unfortunately, I couldn't get those earphones for a little while. But in the meantime, I got the Zodiac series and uh, believe it or not, a week after the Zodiacs, I actually found the Amplify Note X and then I thought to myself, it might be a nice idea to do a Zodiac versus Note X since they are exactly the same price. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what you can find in both of the boxes, what you get with both of the earphones, what the ups and downs are and what the sound quality is on both of them so that you can make up your mind about which ones you would fancy more we start off with the zodiac series so there's true wireless technology hands-free calling touch control and pocket size which it actually is and it's compatible with siri and google assistant on the note x you have true wireless technology hands-free touch control but you have silicon supports, wings, silicon cover and hook, and silicon neck band. Immediately, you can notice one of the big differences. On the ZX series, the case gives you up to 12 hours of playtime, whereas with the Note X series, it gives you up to 14 hours of playtime. Let's quickly look at the specifications side by side. I'm sure you guys are really interested in this. So let's quickly see, Bluetooth, both of them has got version 5.0, but the Note X has got EDR Extra. Operating distance for both of them are 10 meters. The Zodiac series has got only 8 millimeter drivers, whereas the Note X series has got 10 millimeter drivers. The frequency responses are exactly the same. The impedance is also exactly the same. Charging input, 5V DC 1 amp, 5V DC 1 amp, exactly the same. Earphones charge time, 1 hour for both. It doesn't really specify on the Zodiac series how long you have to charge the case for, but on the Note X you only have to charge it for 1.5 hours. The battery in both of the cases are 230 mAh in the earphones and 220 mA on the charging case. Playtime. For the Note is 2.5 to 4 hours, where on the Zodiac your play time is 2 to 4 hours. Number of charges on the case for the Note X is 3 to 4 and the number of charges on the Zodiacs is only 3. Now like I've mentioned before, both of them are costing the same price. But just on the specifications alone, it seems like the Note X is a better choice. Okay, let's see. In your box, you get two earphones, the charging case, and a Type C charging cable. On the earphone, you see it's got a light indicator that shows you when it's on, when it's connected to Bluetooth, and if it's charging, so that's very nice. You have your touch sensitive area on the outside of the earphone that will skip your sound, put your volumes up and down. But me personally, 
I like to just use my phone straight. You also have a left and right ear indicator, which was not marked on the Note series. Not the Note X, the Note series. So now at least you know which side goes left and which side goes left. The Type-C charger makes it obviously very convenient for you to charge this case anywhere, anytime, any place. With the Note, you had the proprietary cable and also with the Note X series, you have the proprietary cable. So if you lose that cable, you're stuffed. But with a Charge-C cable, you can charge your case on the go anywhere, even if you lose this cable. Also included in the box are these silicone tips, which are different sizes. So depending on your ear canal, you can choose which size fits you the best. Last but not least, you get the manual. Okay, let's check out the Note 2 series. What do you get in the box? Okay, lots of goodies in this one. For the same price, you get a few extras. You get a silicon pouch with a few extra silicon goodies in there. And um, the only color change you will get is in the silicon pouch itself. All the earphones in this series is white, but with different color pouches. Which is nice now if you run outside because it makes a bit rainproof. You get the silicone strap that you can put onto your earphones to make sure you don't lose them. Especially for the guys who are athletic, those earphones will be perfect. Then you have your sports silicone sports wings thingies that you put onto the earphones to make it a bit more waterproof, which is something I will never use. You've got your silicone tips of different sizes and you have a carabiner that you can use to connect your whole case to your belt if you go running and then that stupid proprietary charging cable which puts you back in the old position of if the cable is lost you are stuffed which makes the other series a little bit better you have your manual which is exactly the same there you can see the different colors but it's only in the pouches you get like a pink a blue a black and it's only of course in that silicon pouch you have the charging case which is a little bit bigger than the zodiac series charging case but has a very nice charging indicator right at the front otherwise straightforward same as anything else lid opens and closes also with a satisfying snap sound and then you have your two earphones which luckily is also marked with a left and right ear indicator. So if you don't know which way the earphone goes in, just check which has got the L and the R. On these ones, the touch sensitive sensor is sitting on the earpiece at the bottom itself and not on the side as with the Zodiac series. As for the Zodiac series, you can get their cases in different colors. So on the notes you have the pouches and on the Zodiacs you've got the cases. Okay, according to the manual, if you were wondering where the touch control is, it's right here on the logo. So the logo is your touch control. They fit very snugly in my ear and it's extremely comfortable. And you can shake your head as much as you want, they won't fall out. So if you want to use them for running, it's perfect. On the casing, there's definitely been a lot of improvements. Um, you actually have a charge indicator now on the outside of the casing that shows you that the casing is charging. And once you plug in your charging cable, it also shows you that it's charging. And then on your earphone or earbud, you can also see that it's charging um, while the light indicator is on. And the casing also opens and closes with that same snappy feeling like the other cases. So basically they're all the same designs, same cases and so on, but much more improved. Let's quickly take a look at the silicon pouch. It fits quite 
tightly and snugly in, <laughs> onto your case and it makes it nice and waterproof. You can also see it has this very nice dust cover that you can put into your charging port to make sure that it's free of dust and water. You also have this um, on the side you can see where you can put your carabiner. Okay, let's put that on for you quickly and voila just like that. Now you can connect it to your denim, to your pants, to your belt, to your whatever, to your bag, wherever you want to connect it to you can connect your whole charging case without being scared of losing it. Putting these silicone wrappings on was a nightmare so I tried to put it on and clearly I'm not qualified to do this kind of job because it was extremely difficult so I just left it at the end of the day. Next up is the silicone strap. It actually fits very nicely and very tightly onto the earphones so you won't be scared of losing them. And if you want to go jogging it will be nice to have it around your neck and it won't just fall off. I think it's a nice addition. Once the earphones are in your case, they start, show, they start charging and your charging light on your case lights up. If it's green it's charged, if it's flashing it's charging or it needs to be charged and then your earphones itself has got this red light that's also shining. It also has this magnetic pull like it did with the original Note series um, that sucks in your earphones. At the back you also have a switch that you can press to show whether the case is charging or not. Ok guys let's do a quick recap. So your Zodiac series. On your case it's got a charging light which is a big improvement above the notes that I um, reviewed in the past. It's got a type C charging port. The casing is definitely nice and pocket size so it won't bother you. It uh, opens and closes also with a nice satisfying snap. It's got the metal hinge which all of the um, Amplify series has, has so it's basically the same design and the same type of quality that you get on your cases as with all the others. Your earphones has got a charging indicator now as well that shows when it's charging. Once the light is steady it's fully charged. If the light is pulsing it means it's charging. You have a touch sensitive sensor on the outside of the earphones which is a bit of a problem for me because every time you try and adjust the earphone in your ear you accidentally stop a song, skip a song or do something like that which, is, uh, which can be quite irritating to be truthful. Otherwise they fit very nicely into your ears and they've got a left and right ear indicator showing you which side goes where. So what do they sound like? Guys, compared to the Note series I had the first time, the first Notes, these sound freaking nice. It's got nice deep bass and I think it's only because the earphones goes into your ear and the silicon cups really help to seal off any external noises and you have got all this nice rich bass and great clarity that's right there in your ears where you want them. Guys, you have a button at the back. Once you press this, you can see the charging light. So already for me, the charging light is in a much better location. Whereas this one is at the back, this one is at the front. It's brighter and you can more clearly see that this case is charged. Once this light is flashing or it's red, it means this case needs to be charged. Also, once again, it's got the same type of hinge as this one, but you can't see it now because of the cover and it opens and closes also quite satisfactory. You've got your two earphones here which also shows when it's charging, there's a little red light there if you guys can quickly see. Also if the light is pulsing it's charging, the light is not pulsing it is fully charged. Also these earphones go into the ear, now oh, there you see the light. <laughs> the earphones also go in the ear which means also it's got great bass great sound quality and also what I like about these ones is that it cuts out the outside sounds very nicely it really cancels out those external noises so up to this point both earphones are a great value for money 
They're both exactly the same price and I like both of them. As you can see though, there's a difference in the case size, which we already mentioned, and also a difference in the weight. This one is heavier than this one. Now, this one at least doesn't have any touch sensitive buttons on the outside, which is a better which is better for me. And which I like about this cover, it's got a little dust cover there that protects it from dust. And uh, you have this carabiner, so you can hook it onto your belt, hook it onto your denim, or hook it anywhere where you want to hook the casing, and then you can go running with it and it should just do this. It shouldn't give you any issues. Okay, pairing it is also quite easy. Take the earphones, put them in your ears, switch on your Bluetooth, and automatically start scanning for it. See, found it very quick. Just press pair. And it's connected. Quite easy, very fast. Let's go back to this one and see what the song sounds like. The sound is very loud, lots of deep, rich bass, nice clarity. I really love the sound of these ones as well. The Net X series does sound a bit louder than the Zodiacs, and I think that's to do with the difference in the size of the drivers. I tested both earphones on my YouTube channel to see what the delay is in your Bluetooth. Um, you know, to see if there's any um, synchronizing issues. And I must say, there is none. I couldn't see any uh, delay in the talking and the speech and the lip movements. The sound is on par and almost immediate. I haven't tested on games though, so I'm not sure if there's going to be any delay on games. But when it comes to listening to music, watching videos, checking Netflix and so on, there's absolutely no issue with the Bluetooth synchronizing. It's 100% accurate. I can already tell you guys what I don't like about these ones. First of all is the touch sensitive side. If I want to adjust the earphones, I don't want something switching my sound, making it louder or softer, skipping the song or not skipping it, or even plainly switching it off or not. This is the one issue I have with them. They fit quite nicely into the ear, they sound very nice, so I don't have an issue with that. My, prefer my, my preference will be this one. I like this one. It's a bit heavier, it's a bit bigger. I've got the carabiner extra. The earphone sits better in my ears. There's no interference when I want to adjust them. They just feel better for me and they sound better for me. Although both of them sound equally great, I think that extra millimeters of uh, that extra size earphone is making the difference for me. Um, and like I said guys, they're exactly the same price range, so you can pick and choose, both of them are good, there's no winner or loser actually in this category, it's going to come down to your personal preference. What I don't like about this one is the charging cable. It's got that proprietary um, Apple type charger, so if the cable gets lost, you're stuffed. Whereas this one, it's got a type C charger, you can use any type of type C charger to charge this with, so you can charge this anywhere, anytime without any issues. Whereas this one, if you lose the cable, sorry, no. So that's my take on them. You can choose whichever one you want. Both of them are great. This is mine now, I'm gonna keep them, I'm gonna use them. This is the wife's, so she can take hers and use them as well. But both of them sound pretty damn good. So once again guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to this channel and uh, ring that bell icon if you want to get notified of any other videos like this. So until next time guys, whatever you do, keep it safe. Cheers.